My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a beautiful 1952 MG TD Roadster. These little sports cars are fun. I love winding up the motor and shifting through the gears. They're just a fun little car. This is gorgeous black with red leather upholstery. It's been restored from the ground up, including $12,000 in mechanical work was just recently redone, including a completely rebuilt motor with upgrades. And they upgraded the four speed to a five speed transmission. So you can actually go down the highway at some decent cruising speeds. Go to volocars.com and that's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures top to bottom. And that's also where you'll find the price, not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars and they are all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon and you will be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, tops down, let's go for a spin in this little MG. We'll start it up towards the end of the video and yeah, these just sound great. They're cool little cars. Anyway, it was done from the bottom up. If you look at our pictures from the underside, you'll see like the, the components, the nuts and bolts, everything was apart. The rear end is all fresh bolts, the whole uh, front steering and suspension components, uh, all fresh hardware. So it's been apart and restored. It has a stainless steel exhaust system. The muffler is polished out like chrome. They did put a Ford five-speed transmission. There is an adapter kit that comes with instructions. It's for this car. So it wasn't just a shade tree mechanic in their backyard making things fit. There is an application that allows you to put this five-speed in this car. And again, that gives you a, that extra gear. So when you're going on the highway, you get a few more extra miles an hour out of it so you can keep up with traffic. So underneath the car is exceptionally clean. Beautiful, rust-free, clean body. Body was restored, I think about in 2013. Uh, and it's held up really well. There's no rust, there's no damage. Uh, he said there was multiple layers of black paint. It's polished out real smooth and glossy. Uh, actually, it's going to go through the shop and just get touched up a little better. You're going to hit some spots with the buffer, but it's, it's just a beautiful paint job. Everything is straight, solid, fits good. The original chrome has been replated. It has the original headlights, the grill, it's all been re chrome. It has a nice MG emblem here. The little marking on the headlight is the same marking on the turn signal lights here on the fender, so I'm assuming those are original. You have fog lamps up front here, a little bit of pitting on the chrome on the back side. And I called these turn signals. They have been wired up as turn signals. There's a switch on the dash. Uh, there are some scratches right here. I don't know what, oh no, oh good. We fixed that and there's just some debris laying in there. I was gonna point those out. It's the only scratch I found in the car. Uh, so yeah, bumpers re-chromed. Windshield is beautiful chrome. This does fold down. The glass is crystal clear. It has wing windows, electric wipers, the strips on the running board, the welting between the fenders, uh, all looks like it's been replaced. It has this optional luggage, chrome luggage rack here. All five wheels are restored. It's a metal flake silver. The hubcaps are beautiful. All five tires were replaced. The spare's never been on the ground. Still has the nubs on it. Bumpers re -chromed. has the nice tail lights. Does have a nice convertible top. The framework is nice. It also has the side curtain windows. It's all in really good shape. Then it has this nice black canvas uh, boot that goes over the uh, back once the top's down. Has door handles on the outside only, so you reach out to let yourself out. And there's the red interior. It really pops. And it's leather on the seats and on the door panels. The chrome inside's real nice. There's a little MG, little MG emblems right on the handles. 
Now, the motor is completely rebuilt. I mean, I don't think it's got 200 miles on it. Gentleman just had it professionally rebuilt. Also had some upgrades. It's got dual carbs with bigger jets. The head has been ported. It's got bigger valves, heavier springs, a little bit hotter cam. It's dressed up with some really sharp finned aluminum valve cover with the MG right on it, a finned aluminum side cover, and then the oil pan is also finned aluminum. It's got matching MG on the dipstick. So the engine compartment's clean, all new uh, correct factory wiring harness. They did change it to a negative ground, 12 volt, uh, 12 volt batteries mounted in here properly. It's got all the original tags. Uh, in the little toolbox here is the original jack. So I'm not going to open the other side. Actually, I will. I'll close this side and open the other side because that's where the dual carbs are at. And I was going to say there's no trunk to open either, so it's going to be a short video. All the, the piping and uh, hoses and clamps and uh, everything about it just looks really good. The dash area is real nice, steering wheel's mint, there's no cracks, does have the original gauges in good shape. It's got a horn, I wasn't expecting that when I hit it before the video, this little car. Uh, carpeting looks like it's been replaced, it does have embroidered MG floor mats. I personally haven't started one of these in a while, I think I'll figure it out. I also wanted to show you something that I find hilarious. This is literally, this is the gas gauge. Gas cap's right back there. You put this in there and it tells you uh, how much gas you have in the car. That's how they were, brand new. And I tell you what, it works every time. So you turn the key on, I think I pull one of these levers. Oh yeah, easy peasy. And this switch right under the dash, that's your turn signals idling at about 700 rpm amp gauge is working oil pressure is working got your lights right there not sure how to turn the wipers on Fun little sports car, completely different than the Chevelles and the Camaros and big blocks. It's just a different overall feel and sound and a different enjoyment from this car. No better, no worse, just different. I, I really enjoy these. And I think the colors are what really sets this one apart and the level of restoration. Visit volocars.com. I just gave you my impression of this little beauty. If you have specific questions or concerns, feel free to ask the salesman, which you will find at volocars.com. They will also make the delivery, the financing, uh, all the paperwork super easy. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. You'll be the first uh, to see the next video posted. Thanks for watching.